Yeah, we're trying to make the best hardware, we're trying to make the best software, and if someone really is better than us, then we're not doing our job right. I don't think anyone at this point has done that. Um, well, I've heard I mean, Valve's demo coming. <laughs> well, I mean, not Valve's demo is not a real product. Well, for, it's not a real product, but our DK2 is almost identical yeah, that's to the spec wise. I mean, it has. The, 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 yeah, they, you try the DK. Do you know if they're still working on that? Or? Okay. You ask them. Okay. Uh, I'm really fucking the but thanks for taking the time oh, yeah. to talk to us. Yeah. And, Thank uh, you. Thanks for talking about this stuff, right? Yeah, totally. I, that's cool. It's good I, I always do. All right. Stick <laughs> around. Um, so, I. Yeah, I Valve, think, Valve, yeah. Yeah, I think right now our, our stuff is, is the best that's, that's coming to market. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, make people worry about market fragmentation. But for that to happen, people have to be supporting other things. And right now, we're the only one person shipping it. So, well, you know, wor worry about fragmentation if and when there's someone else who's, you know, actually and getting, and getting, and getting, and getting and adoption. Yeah. So it looks like Sony's, like, targeting, like, uh, the standing experience, too. Uh, you know, coupled with sure. the the, the uh, move or whatever they call it, um, but I know you guys have said that uh, right now we can only really get the seated experience down. Sure. Um, can you sort of elaborate more on that? Well, a lot of it is just a liability thing. Um, it's, it's, I mean, so, so Sony has shown standing experiences on a, you know on a prototype project with no end release date or price or any final details or anything. So, um, I, you know, we'll, we'll see what they do, but I don't think that, see, dan that standing experiences are going to end up being a, I don't think that they're, that, 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 I don't think that's solved right now. I mean, it's, it, I'm stumbling because I'm super tired. I know, <laughs> no worries, I know, no worries. I know, I know the topic. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it is, it is really difficult to safely have someone to have someone safely play a game when they're blindfolded and also tethered, yeah. um, it, it, I, I think the st standing is, is is not a soft problem right now. It's easy to show to show a, like you know Sony's booth is oh, Sony's booth was you know all matte black carpet walls and ceiling single user type of thing. It's easy to put together a demo that works really well. It's like it's a, it's a, it's a, yes, with with an attendant who's watching you continuously and gameplay that is optimized around just standing in one place. Like in yeah. one you're standing in a cage going down, yeah. in another one you were standing in one place and swinging a sword in a suit of armor, those aren't the types of games that, there's a lot of other types of games that could have someone accidentally taking steps or tripping or falling. Uh, look at how many people uh, hurt themselves and their 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 houses just playing Wii Sports. <laughs> and now imagine that they're blindfolded with a cable attached to their head. So I take it that the uh, the consumer Oculus Rift uh, will not be wireless, the first no. gen? Okay. Well, the latency... The latency, it's all hypothetical. I mean, there are there are low latency wireless video solutions, but they're all based around 1080p, 60 frames a second. We're higher, gonna be higher res than that. We're gonna be much higher frame rate than that. And there's currently no consumer wireless video solutions that are capable of that, much less at an affordable cost. I mean, even the 1080p, 60 frames a second things, those are products that cost several hundred dollars on their own. And they draw, well, well and, and, and they don't, and and they draw a lot of power. Yeah. So it's not just like, oh, add a little battery. It's like, you need a pretty chunky battery to run this thing for a few like hours. We use like, you know. Well, the Wii is actually even pretty good. The Wii. Well, I, mean, I say, but for battery the, life, it's, it's, it's good for latency and stuff. But it's like, well, I, I, actually, the battery life gets, is okay on the Wii U, but they're using network-based streaming. Where they're actually, yeah, yeah. So they're they're taking they're taking the they're taking the game. Then they're compressing it in, in segments and then piping it over and then decompressing it. Um, but actually, even the latency on the Wii U is higher than what you'd want for, for VR. It's it's good, but it's there's no network-based streaming solutions that are that are that are good enough. You really need dedicated hardware, and the dedicated hardware is really expensive, very power-hungry, and currently not capable of the frame rates and resolutions that we need. Can you talk about what uh, what resolution and refresh rate you're targeting for the we're consumer gonna, release? We're going to be we're we're going to be over 90 uh, 90 hertz or over. Can't talk about the exact resolution yet, but it's over 1080p. And are you guys targeting a uh, a release this year? Can't can't announce anything. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you for your time. Anything? Yeah, of uh, course. I don't know that you can't announce. Yeah.